Hello, I'm Riverside County Sheriff Chad Bianco. This critical incident message is regarding a deputy-involved shooting that occurred on Thursday, December 29th, 2022, on the 15 freeway at the 5th Street overpass in the city of Norco. This was a deputy-involved shooting that stemmed from an active search of a wanted suspect, William Shea Amador McKay, a 44-year-old resident of San Bernardino. McKay was wanted for the murder of Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Isaiah Cordero, which occurred during a traffic stop in Harupa Valley earlier that day. Multiple agencies began searching for McKay, and at 3.07 p.m., an officer from the Beaumont Police Department located McKay's vehicle heading northbound on Interstate 15 in Rancho Cucamonga. The officer attempted a vehicle stop, but McKay failed to yield, and a pursuit was initiated. McKay exited at Baseline Road and re-entered Interstate 15 in a southbound direction, heading back to Riverside County. The vehicle merged onto eastbound 60, where a tire deflation device was successfully deployed by California Highway Patrol. McKay exited the freeway at Rubido Boulevard and re-entered in a westbound direction. McKay returned to Interstate 15 southbound, where Riverside County Sheriff's Special Enforcement Bureau's armored vehicle made multiple attempts to execute a precision immobilization technique, or PIT, maneuver. Ultimately, due to a mechanical malfunction, the vehicle veered right across all lanes of traffic and came to a stop on the shoulder under the 5th Street overpass. McKay began firing a pistol at deputies, and a deputy-involved shooting occurred. Members of our SWAT team approached McKay and found him deceased inside the vehicle. Some viewers may find this video disturbing and it is not suitable for children. Here is footage from our department helicopter capturing McKay's actions. It's like going to go under the bridge at 6, continue in the freeway, next exit will be 2nd Street. Crossing under the bridge on 6, approaching 2nd. Correct, yeah, 3, are you close? Hit the center divider, smoke coming out of the tail end here. Take a dare for two packets, get ready to bail over that wall if he runs. If we can have CHP stop the uh, northbound traffic. Very good, three of my loud night. Uh, just a pit maneuver. Truck is still going southbound, very slow. Speeds through the center divider, moving all the way over to the right hand side. About 15 miles per hour. Early air is brandishing a handgun and shooting. Brandishing and shooting a handgun. Back up front, please. Just two feet right under the bridge. Two feet under the bridge. Cast out fire, out fire. We will now show you body worn camera video of the involved deputies. Brandishing and shooting a handgun. Please. Just two feet right under the bridge.
It was determined William McKay had an active felony warrant for failure to appear on a kidnapping case and the stabbing of a California Highway Patrol canine after evading officers. It was discovered McKay was a career criminal with a past of violent crimes such as kidnapping, robbery, and attempted murder, and was currently out on bail. The firearm used by McKay was a non-serialized 9mm semi-automatic pistol. When we have a deputy-involved shooting, multiple investigations are automatically launched. An investigator from the Riverside County District Attorney's Office will lead this investigation, aided by the Riverside County Sheriff's Force Investigations Detail and Central Homicide Unit. This combined investigation will examine McKay's actions and the deputy-involved shooting. This is an active and ongoing investigation. This incident, like all deputy-involved shootings, will ultimately be reviewed by the Riverside County District Attorney's Office. Additionally, our department will internally review and evaluate the actions of our deputies with our policy and training standards. We take each use of force very seriously and make every effort to de-escalate these situations whenever possible. Thank you for watching.